people of YouTube, what would you do if I said to you, you're probably wrapping your cables incorrectly? Would you be like, say what? Wowzers, trousers, no way, Jose. You probably would, I reckon. So uh, let me tell you something that you probably don't know. Chances are you've been wrapping cables incorrectly if you're anything like me or anyone else in the universe, because apparently there's a proper way to wrap up a cable. I've got a little one here because it's easier to demo, but normally you do a big mental long one, but that's quite hard to show you on the video. So normally you would wrap up these cables, this technique using a big like XLR or something, but for simplicity, I'm going to show you on a tiny little blue USB cable because I quite like the color blue. Anyway, what is this wrapping cable technique and why is it important? So normally what you do is you kind of wrap it around, you get a nice little circle going and you go, oh, isn't that nice? A nice little circle. I'll show you again. This is what most people do. It's what I used to do. So what, I wonder what the best angle is. Maybe like this, so, uh, or like this. So you kind of wrap it around in the same way every time. Maybe you can straighten it out if you want, but you basically do the same thing over and over again. You make a nice little circle and then that's it, sweet. But there is a better way to do it. It's called the over under wrapping technique or over under cable wrapping technique. Yeah, that's the, that's, that's the standard name for it, I think. So, and basically what it does is you start off by holding it like this. I think this angle is probably the best because yeah, there's loads of other videos about this and the angles made it really difficult. So I'll show you multiple different angles, but not I don't, I don't have two cameras, so I'm gonna do it twice. So this is one angle, uh, so hold it like this. So over, and then here's, here's the under bit. So that's the over. So again, all pointy outwards. That's the over bit like so. But then there's an under bit, which is you basically grab it like that. <gasps> What's going on there? That is an under grab. I'll show you again. So instead of going over again, what you do is you pull it under. So see this slow motion with no editing. Slow motion. See that? That's the under. So over, over the top, nice and simple. This cable's really short. I should have picked a longer one. I do have a longer one, but I'm gonna show you with this again. It's, it's easier to wangle around this. So over. So over the top, nice and simple. It's all away from you, over the top, and then under. So you can kind of, there's different ways to do it. Some people do it with a twist. Some people would flip their hand upside down like I'm doing here. Learn your own way, it doesn't matter. The important thing is to understand what's happening to the cable here. So over the top, and then see what's happening? It's kind of, it goes up like that, and then twists in. So you've got your little circle made up here, and then it looks a bit, a bit like that. So it's under, so this goes basically under that. See what I mean? So instead of the trailing bit being over the top, it's underneath, it's underneath that bit, into a nice little circle. And then, oh, need to go over, which is like that, over, under. And then you basically wanna build up muscle memory for going brr, 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 and whatever. Sweet, that is the over under technique. Let me show you another angle somehow. How am I gonna do this? Uh, I'm gonna show you, from this angle, no, I'm gonna try and do it like this, but without knowing what, right, cool. I reckon I can do it with my hands crossed. So uh, maybe, yeah, I'm just gonna screw it. I'm gonna do it all like this way so you can see. So holding it out this way, so you do an over, which is like that. So that is your normal, your normal over. See, see what's going on? It's like topology or some sort of maths-ish. So that is over. And then instead of going over again, what you have to do is go under. It's hard to do it all back to front for me. Like I need an extra arm. This is no, this is a nightmare. Right, uh, how am I gonna do this? So the under is like that. I probably if I do it like, does that make sense? It's quite hard to do it back to front styly. Yeah, that's the under. So over is over the top. Why well, I hold it over here, right, so over over the top. That's what's going on with an over, whereas we actually want to do an under because we've just done an over. So this goes underneath like that. Sweetness. And then you go over and then under. Boom. And there you have it. That is the correct way to wrap a cable. 
but apparently you're not supposed to do it with power cables for, for reasons that I haven't investigated. Why is this important? Basically, what's happening is, um, I'll, I'll hold this cable for this. What's happening, because it's thicker cable, isn't it? Right, so, this is a really long cable, bumped into the mic. Uh, there's cable chaos everywhere. Right, so, what's happening? When you keep doing over and over, like that, over and over and over, What's happening is the cable is actually twisting. It keeps twisting and twisting and twisting and twisting and it gets, it looks mental and then it's stupid and then it, it you unfold it and it's all kind of like wobbly. Because basically what happens is when you're going the same way every time, you're twisting it a little bit every time, get a cable, do some experiments yourself and you'll see, it's quite hard to show you the twist on camera. But yeah, as you do it the same way every time over, 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 the cable twists and then that damages the cable, theoretically. Um, in reality, I'm not quite sure how important this is, but it's worth knowing. I thought I thought it was quite interesting. Whereas if you do over, under, over, these cables were twisted from the last time I did it. Uh, under, oh, I forgot where I was at. Memory of a goldfish, start again, right. See, the problem is when you do over and over, over and over and over and over and over again, you end up with a really twisted cable like this and then you have to straighten it out and that's not good for the cable. It's really bad for the cable. It twists it and then it eventually breaks. Um, so yeah, you've got to do this over under technique. And when you do over, well, I'll do it so you can see it. So over, under, see how it's like all going like this? It's important, into the circle. So that is your under, so under, oh, need to do over, and then under like that. Cool, what's happening when you do that is it's twisting it the opposite way every time and as a result, the whole thing isn't twisted. Does that make sense? I'd, oh, I got a text message. I'll leave that for the time being. Does that make any sense to you people on the internet? So yeah, just thought it was quite interesting. It turns out I've been wrapping cables the wrong way for ages. Not that I really wrap many cables, so don't quite know how useful this video is. I'm gonna show you one more time, because I remember when I looked, looked this up on YouTube, uh, it wasn't very clear in the first like three videos what's going on with the under. Like the over's pretty clear, because everyone does the over in the same way, but the under wasn't clear. So I'm gonna show you again. Right, so I think this angle's the best, like sort of di diagonally, this sort of way. So, uh, holdy, holdy, holdy like this, then, the, I'm gonna do it in slow motion without doing slow motion talking. Right, so over is normal. So I'm grabbing it over the top, nice and simple. Looks like that. That is your over. And then the under, the easiest way to do it, most people find, is to flip your hand upside down. Don't turn your head upside down, you'll get in a muddle. And then it basically comes almost like inside itself. So you get that sort of circle made again, but it, this goes inside or underneath this top bit. So, under, ta -da. right again. And then you can always like straighten it out as you do it. Over, I'm trying sure you easier. Over, this is getting in the way, right. Ready? Over, nice and simple. And the complicated one. And uh, so it almost like comes inside of itself, like the Matrix, like Inception. And there you go. That is the start of a perfect over-under cable wrap extraordinaire. And there you go. That is the over-under technique for cable wrapping. I've been Multiplier. Bingo, bango, bongo. Um, yeah, remember, for, apparently for some... I've got another text message. Apparently for some reason you're not supposed to do that with power cables. Um, maybe I should have researched this video more before I did it, but I got so excited that I was wrapping cables incorrectly. Do you know what it's like? Bit of a bonus tip. This is like two situations in life where people have been telling me I've been doing the wrong thing for ages. You know bananas? Apparently everyone opens them upside down. Google that, that'll freak you out. It'll freak you out. Also, when I saw a physio about my knees, because I've been jumping off too many stair sets skateboarding for years, the physio said I've been standing wrong as if there's a wrong way to stand. That was a bit weird. Imagine someone telling you you've been standing wrong for ages, but uh, yeah. I told her she was standing wrong. And then she said, no, she's not. Turns out I was, but um, 
Yeah, don't jump off stair, stair sets as kids. Skateboarding ruins your knees. And then you get old like me. Badtimes.com hashtag for realsies.